up and holy shiitake mushrooms. So Upper Park Lake is there. Ah. Good morning, welcome to Cooley Outdoors. I'm your host, Brandon Scott, and with me over there is Nash. And uh, today's adventure, as you can tell from the title screen, we are going on a, we have succumbed to the Larch Madness. We, ah, we have the itch, we need to see the colors. This was supposed to be last Monday's hike, but you know, wedding planning kind of got in the way. So today we're doing it now instead. So we are up in the north northern Cascades of Washington. We are in the Metau Valley, north of Chelan. And we are parked at, I don't even know what this parking lot and trailhead is called, but it's a triple trailhead. You can go do Crater Creek, Crater Lakes, Libby Lakes, Martin Lakes, Golden Lakes Loop. There's, there's three different trails here, so at least four options of stuff to go do and more. So it's a big parking lot, it's not unknown. It's not crazy popular like say Maple Pass or Cutthroat Pass, but you know, it's still fairly exciting and fairly busy. There are still plenty of cars left over that I'm sure are camping because it's a Monday and some of these cars don't look like they've moved in a couple of days. But anywho, we're here to see the larches and go on a hike in the Northern Cascades of Washington. I'm just gonna roll right into the book. So the only book that this is explicitly covered in is 100 Hikes of Washington's North Cascades National Park Region by Mr. Spring and Mr. Manning. Hike number 59, Crater Lakes, eight miles, five hours, 2,100 feet up. And it is just barely outside the Lake Chelan Sawtooth Wilderness. Literally the ridge lines on two out of the three sides of this creek basin make up the border to the shot to the wilderness. So I'm just gonna put this in the wilderness area folder because it should be. And then that is the view from the upper lake. I am like 95% sure I will be going up to the upper lake. Nash is not sure he's feeling his uh knee is kind of giving him some troubles today. So he wants to make it to at least the lower lake and see the larches and we can see we can see the larches. <laughs> we can see them. They're up at the top. They're not down here. The larches are pretty much up near the ridge line and up at the lakes, but we can see the colors. The other colors we are seeing right now are like the willows and the vine maples and the cottonwoods and the occasional aspen has decided to start coloring too, but we're going to go put our butts on the trail and oh my god, I've done intro stuff and it took less than five minutes. Holy crap. Well, it seems like you can do this or something. Yeah, something like that or I just learned how to shut the hell up. So the weather says it might start raining after two o'clock, but it could also be sunny. So uh, it's like a 40% chance last time I checked. Yeah, showers after two o'clock, but it's this side of the mountain. So it means it'll be like four raindrops. So uh, yeah, it'll be light drizzle. Yeah, so let's go hit the uh, mountain and go see what there is to see. So it is just about 8.30 on the dot. This is like I was saying, there is multiple trails that start here and connect into here. Got Crater Creek Trail, Eagle Lakes, Martin, and you can go connect to Foggy Dew and Libby and the Golden Lakes Loop starts here. And as you can tell from the little triangle, it is a multi-purpose trail. There can be bikers, there can be hikers, there can be horse, there can be a, a lot of these trails are also you can ride dirt bikes, motorized dirt bikes, because none of these trails that we're going to be in the vicinity of are technically in the wilderness area. And in fact, the Crater Creek Trail that goes to Crater Lakes, the one we're doing today, is the only one in the area that is not allowed to have motorcycles on. And usually horses don't go up it because this is the, it's got some steep rocky sections in it. But yes, so multi-use trail, and as you saw from the signage, funding to keep these trails nice and pretty are funded by the local motorcycle association. I personally, okay, I personally have zero problems with motorcycle, the dirt bike groups. Most of them are very nice people and they are very respectable. And you know what? Most of their asses haul around chainsaws, keeping a lot of their trails clean. Like in fact, a lot of the trails on this side of the mountains only stay consistently clean and clear by clank and easy to use for everybody because as soon as the snow melts out the motorcycle groups start coming out and start bucking trees and their chainsaws i know for a fact a lot of trails in the salmon lasac and blue at pass areas only stay visible and accessible 
because of the tireless work that the local motorcycle groups do. So be nice to them. They get to play out here too. And the limb, most of them are a lot more respectful to their surroundings than the average clueless day hiker. So thank you motorcycle, dirt bike groups, whatever the proper terminology is for keeping trails like this open and accessible. Anywho, the trail, as you can tell, nice and wide. Bike tracks, fall colors are a poppin'. You've got mostly willows and cottonwoods. Some of the cottonwoods are, some of the cottonwoods aren't. And then the ground cover plants. The occasional aspen is tucked in here, but the main star of the show will be the larches and those won't be till we get near the head of the basins up high. So it is mid-October. Yesterday over the weekend for the wedding, peep the ring, we had record warm sunny weather and it all came to a crashing halt. Yesterday evening is supposed to be raining this afternoon into tomorrow. So this might be the last good chance to get this in for the day, for the year. So away we go. It's a bit cloudy. The sun is trying to peek through eventually, but clouds are sunshine. We're going to go see these larches, and if it's cloudy, then all we won't do is probably go swimming. But time to get these popping, and I mean popping, fall colors. So we'll wait for Nash to catch up. And then I'll probably take a short and see how we roll. So we have reached our first of two crossings across Crater Creek. And the mic and the camera lens may be a bit smudged. I'm not gonna edit that out. So on the left is the horse ford. On the right is the person ford. Pretty signage, sick signage. Walk over to Quater Creek. So if I haven't made that clear, we're currently on the Eagle Lakes Trail, which is the main trail. Oh, that's cool. The buttressing. Oh, and it's a pretty little creek. So pretty. It's a pretty little creek. Hey? Pretty little creek. And the buttresses are cool too. So here, fairly shortly, we'll be turning off of the Eagle Lakes Trail and making our right uphill turn up the Crater Creek Trail to Crater Lakes. Pictures of your signage? So speaking of which, just round the corner, Here's where the horse slash bike ford comes in. And then you get to your junction. The Eagle Lakes Trail, number 431, continues on that way. I'm sure at some point we'll come back and do more trails along here, eh? Oh, yeah. So I'll post that right there. But now we are going up the Crater Lake slash a Crater Creek Trail, which as you can see from the sign, no motorcycles. Number 416, Crater Lake, three miles up yonder. Let me catch my breath for a couple of seconds, but after about a mile oh, on the Crater Creek Trail, you're crossing Crater Creek for the second time and the final time, as far as I know. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous little mountain stream. Oh, that's pretty. Might have to find a way down there to get a little video on the way back. Fishy, fishy? Fishy, fishy. It's supposed to be good fishing up at the lakes, so I would think at some point some fish either made it up or down the creek, but probably pretty good at hiding at this point. And no, not to hang out underneath the trail bridge. <laughs> a couple trolls. Like a couple of trolls. All right, so 
probably two-ish miles left or so and still a lot of ways up but we're getting there no larches along the trail yet but we're still pretty low in elevation for that so we will see them we could see them in the distance so lots and lots of pretty thimbleberry though We're almost to the supposed waterfall and of course I am out of shape and Nash is trying to protect his knee so we're stopping because we're a bunch of fat mother us. Squirrel. Squirrel. Squirrel? Nash is harassing wildlife. So we stopped, took a look around and lo and behold, we are getting closer. The larches are in sight. We are getting there. And of course down low we have transitioned into a huckleberries mostly because we're a fair old distance away from the creek you can hear it but in these dry east side hills and mountains if you're not next to the creek you're not going to find much water so we're getting there we should get to the waterfall fairly shortly it is only probably 52 degrees out but i'm sweating like a pig because my ass has been stress eating for the last two weeks over the wedding so i probably instantaneously put on five pounds Yep, and it's been almost a month since I even went and did anything up at White Pass, so you know, if you don't stay on it, you lose it. But fairly shortly we should be getting to the waterfall, and we're over halfway to the lakes. Big rock, big tree, fall down next to big rock. Oh, little bits of blue sky trying to poke through. But, anywho, we can hear the waterfall pretty clearly over there, but the trail's going that way to switch back around and above it, so I don't think we'll see it here, but on the way back down, we'll have to take a little bushwhack and go find her, eh? Yeah. But, uh, so yeah, so I'd give you that update. We're at the waterfall, but it's tucked in there in the trees by about one or 200 feet, so we're just going to bypass it, take a breather, and then continue on to the lakes. Huh? Still up in that tall slope surrounded by larches. Oh yeah, look at that. And look, there's a lot more blue sky coming out. Yep. We're getting there. The sun is trying. The larches are larching. We are marching. The march, the match for the latch. We're getting there. And no, this trail is not easy. We may be out of shape, but this shit's getting pretty steep. So, definitely say the difficulty is going to be a solid four for this. But we're getting there. We're too stubborn to fail. Just got to be more stubborn. We might as well keep chug-a-lugging. We're most of the way there. We've probably got a mile and a half at most to the lower lake and oh, oh baby. Look at that. That's a bit awful. That's what we're here for. <sighs> ah, get there. Chug-a-lug. No larches trail side yet, but we do see some like cottonwoods and willows and such poking and eventually we're going to have to run into larches, so. That's the teaser. Yeah. Yeah, all the other fall colors that you can see anywhere else, the huckleberries, the thimbleberries, the aspens, the cottonwoods, the willows, that's just the teaser to keep you going. The real star of the show is at the lake up against the craggy mountains can't have your dessert before you eat your dinner and we are or you can't have your pudding if you don't eat your meat yar so we're definitely chomping our way slowly but surely through the meat and potatoes and we'll be getting to the sunday at the end here 
trying to. I can see the walls are opening up. We can see walls around us and I can see arches in the distance. And we've got one trying to. We're getting there. It's opening up. You can see mountains and larches and rock faces. And oh my God, the sun's trying to come out in blue sky. This might become a really effing good day after all. Oh yeah. Get a little video of Nashville. Oh, and the trail's opening up too. Oh yeah. Get some high quality footage of Nash walking down the trail. Yeah, baby. But yes, we need to get you a bright gold pair of sunglasses to match the larches. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the Yellowstone are yellow on yellow, which makes sense because you're going to be there next year anyway. Oh yeah. Oh fluff, yeah, bud. Open up, baby. Let me take a peek at your goodies. Oh, this is strangely arousing. I feel great home. Oh. Turn this off. So after three and a half miles, we're finally coming up to our first talus slope and possible open view. And yep, we're finally getting to some trailside larches. Oh, fuck yeah. Scanning, looking for some thunderbolts. Eek. That was me. Oh, we're in the larches. We got blue sky. Huh? One bar. You gonna take a short? Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna run this the whole time then. The trail goes off to your right. I know. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure you weren't being unnecessary. T I think I saw movement. I'm not seeing no movement. <sighs> Directly ahead of me, I think. Maybe just be my eyes playing hopeful on me. Oh, well. I guess I'll continue on, see if I scare anything up. Definitely a lot of holes. But yes, we are finally into the larches. That is what we came for right there. The good, good. The good, good. And that is why it's called Sawtooth Ridge, because look at that shit. That is cool. If we weren't going to the lakes, that would be a damn good thumbnail right there. But we've got bodies of water and even more larches to go see. Ah, oh, the trail skirts the scree slope. Dang it. Never mind. Oh well. Got another couple minutes of good video. We shall see what we can go find. Oh yeah. Keep this rolling. Yes. 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 Fluff, yes. Switch back around it. Oh my god, yes. This is what we came for. The lurches are in color. Here we get blue skies. I need to get my phone out and get a picture. Sorry, this is shoddy camera work. I use my right hand for everything. Winky face, winky face. Yup. That's the good good right there. Switch to Snapchat. 
piss everybody off. Save, I'm looking, I might be too far down. Put the camera, and how long has this been rolling? Three and a half minutes, I'll let it roll for a little bit. Nash is back down there still, taking a, pictures and hopefully some videos. That's a lurch cone. And that's a lurch. Yeah. I'm gonna get up here. I think I will wait for him and turn this off until we get closer to the lake. But this is getting to where we want to be. Longest third of mile of my life. I see open area for camping on my left. Pretty sure I see water. Oh. So we have arrived at the main crater lake. Oh Jesus. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Find me a direction to the lake. That's probably to the upper lake. So I'd say anywhere right in front of you. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thumbnail with Nash. Keep looking at the lake. Look at the lake, ho. Yeah? Yep. Breathe or not. That's the thumbnail right there. Okay. So I guess I'm going to find a spot fairly near to here to set up a long exposure for this. And then I guess we'll go to the upper lake. Yep. Works for you? Works for me. Sick. 11, so I save lunch for the upper lake. Yeah, that's fine. I'm definitely going to have a snacky snack though. Yeah. Holy shit holy. Yeah, this will work. Legs off of this rock, I guess. Yeah, like exposure there, maybe. Uh, put it there. Okay. I think. Facing that way. He thinks. Oh, that yeah. Fuck yeah. But I think okay. Bigelow is over there. Oh. oh my Jesus. Yeah. That'll. That'll do for a day. <laughs> that'll do for sure for a day. My lord. No. Go stand on that. That might make the better thumbnail. Okay. You can leave your backpack if you want. I'm still going. <laughs> I'll stand here on this for rock the aesthetic. for the aesthetic, yeah. sacrifice for the aesthetic. Oh, yeah. Although I think I need to get a wider, yeah, I gotta get a wider angle. So I'm gonna kill this for a second and turn it back on. Oh, much better. Yeah, no, that's, that's the thumbnail. Tuck Nash in the corner like that, yup. That's, that's the thumbnail. Unless it gets better at the upper lake, which it may. It just might. That lady said on the trail. She said the upper lake is amazing, and I, I'd be inclined to agree. This is pretty damn good, though. All right, we'll set up the long exposure back there, looking that way, and hang out for a bit, have a snacky snack. Yep. Hilarious. Three? Three bars. Jesus. All right, so we got our initial long exposure here while the sun was still good, because it may get worse as the day goes on. So now we're gonna go up to the upper lake and have lunch at the upper lake, because it's supposed to be amazing. So we'll go up to the upper lake, have lunch up there, and then we'll come back. Huh? Okay. And then we'll come back down to the main lake and sacrifice our sanity, our warmth, and go for a swim. And I might even bust out the fly fishing gear while I'm at it and see how we go. But uh, yeah, we'll see you shortly at the upper lake. <sighs> Nash just disappeared over the hump. But. After a short waltz up, 
up a well used social trail through the amazingness that is the larches. Sounds like we have reached the upper lake. And this is a wonderland. I'm out of breath, yes, because there's almost 7,000 feet of elevation. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. This will do, methinks. Oh hell yeah. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, bud. Yeah, bud. Aren't you glad I take you on these adventures? Huh? You're a dick. You're supposed to stand on that rock for the thumbnail, yo. Go. Get. This is abuse, YouTube. This is abuse. You're god dang right, and I'm not even a spouse, so I can do it whenever I want. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That will do in a half. A. You agree? Yeah. Well, and this is Bigelow in front of us and much better view of it. Sick. All right, well, I'm gonna set up a long exposure somewhere where I'm standing, and we're gonna have lunch and enjoy the crap out of this, probably sitting right where Nash is. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Gotta decide which, video, which one I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna use, I'll use the little one and I'll save this one for when I go. No, I don't know, I'll figure it out. And I didn't even tag the other one, crap. Yeah, it's not very deep. Swimming's gonna be in the lower one and the fishing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Supposed to be good fishing in this in both of them, but I'll just save that for the lower lake when we go swimming. Okay, well I'm gonna tag the long exposure there and I would have linked to the other one back there, so we're gonna sit up and have lunch. Alrighty, we have been here for about 45 minutes and the sun has disappeared. Actually, we've been here for closer to an hour, but uh, the sun has disappeared, so we'll say goodbye to Upper Crater Lake, leave it to this other group of people, and go test our wits and our dumbness and see how long we can swim and how long I can fish before trying to kill myself with hypothermia. I'll grab something from down there, I guess. Ice appears. Now we'll take our quick little jaunt back through the larches and back down to the main crater lake. You know that other spot where we were kind of hanging out off camera? Yeah. That's where I want to go. That would be the better spot. Oh, that is mm, gorgeous. Huh? Boy, bueno. We'll watch Dum Dum be Dum Dum. Dum Dum for Dum Dum. Pretty much. How it chews the gum fire feels. Gum Gum. Sent your stimulate. Still. Ugh. He's wanting to take a YouTube short of me, so we shall shortception. Uh, I guess I'll do that. Yeah, while I'm walking down through this. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, going. Just gonna putz on down, keep the camera rolling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
And then I suppose stop down here and watch him come through. And then I'll probably turn it off till we get back to the lake. Maybe he might be taking pictures still. He appears to be taking pictures, so we'll just kinda we'll just see you at the lake, YouTube. Oh no, he's coming. Maybe. Nash go zoom. Because they're behind me. Oh, jeez. Really? They were here for five. Uh. Well, we really, really don't want to, but it's 2.15. It's time to start making tracks back to Clank. Because I had high expectations for this day, and it still pretty much came out and met him. The weather behaved almost better than I thought it was going to, and everything else was pretty damn on point. Wouldn't you say so? So I'm going to see if I can get one more fish to jump with the camera rolling fairly close to you, and then we'll scoot along. Yeah, I got a couple. All right, I guess you can roll. Yeah, I got a couple of jumps. I know. This is one of those spots that has uh, blown us away pretty good. This is pretty damn good. And I'm sure the other five or six hikes that take you to lakes and up to these ridge lines in the immediate vicinity out of the same trailhead or nearby trailheads are all pretty damn impressive too. So we may be coming back here more and you may be seeing a bunch more Chelan Sawtooth Wilderness hikes because this is pretty freaking cool. All right, get along. No. We gotta. No. I want to be in bed before 10 o'clock tonight. We gotta go. Okay. I like to not be tired and cranky when we go off-roading tomorrow. <laughs> Where are you going? But speaking of, I don't want to tag that just now, but speaking of watching fish jump, we took, like I said, I took a long exposure. I don't know if I tagged it, so if I didn't, I'll tag us, me, us swimming and me fishing right there. Back in tits. <sighs> eh? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see those bright pinks. Nice, 
bright orangey pink, peachy pink skivvy Serena bought me to go swimming in. Cause I usually just swimming in my regular long nylon undies, but American Eagle makes some, it's what they call swundies, it's pretty much the same thing, long nylon undies to go swimming in. So she bought me a couple pairs of those. And so I wear them to go swim now. But yes, as you may see in the fishing video, the separate one I will put as part of this video, where Nash is carrying around the GoPro while I'm fly fishing. I caught like seven fish in 15 minutes. It was every third or fourth cast, boom, I was getting a hit. The hardest part was dragging them back through the reeds and the grass to get them to land them because they pop off with the reeds. But we were hit, I was hitting fish. So yeah, it's just about 2.20. So we should get back to Clink at about four o'clock, depending on how distracted we get or don't get. Oh, my heels just hurt cold. I know. My toes are finally getting warm. That water was not warm, by the way. It was probably 55 degrees at best. The yeah, the experience. Yeah, you had to walk in. I mean, you saw how far out I was standing and I was only knee deep. You had to keep walking. Uh oh to get in and go for a swim. So it was cold. But uh, yeah, we will see you a little further down the trail for the outro unless we find anything else super exciting back down the trail. Tiny fat. It is my precious tiny fat. Oh, don't go away. Don't go away, you little shit. See him, YouTube? Might be hard to see because the camera's zoomed out a little ways. He has forgotten I am here. I can see, oh, he's gone. Crap. Let's see if Nash spooks him. There he is, he's still there. He's still right there. Oh, there's a second one. There's a second one up and to the left, there he goes. Oh my goodness, look at you. Bike a time, bike a time. No, come back. Crap, he went into the tall rocks, I can't see him anymore. I think you he heard Nash approaching. I don't think he's going to pop back out. He might, though. That's a squirrel. We're not interested in them. He did give me a very loud squeak. There he is. Oh, my God. You see him? Holy shit. Yes. Uh-oh. I think he notices. No, there's no way he can see Nash. I think he knows I'm here and he's not sure what to do about me. He's so damn cute. So freaking cute. Kinda wish the GoPro zoomed in more, but you know, that's just what we deal with. Uh oh. I think he heard Nash. Raven in the background. Now it's a perfect day. I caught fish and saw Pika. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he hears Nash coming. He's not sure what to think about Nash coming. Oh my god, he's so f***ing cute. Grub, 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 grub. Grub, 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 grub. Dig, dig, dig. Grub, grub, grub. Shit, where'd he go? Come back out. Please? He's probably not. Please come back out. There he goes. This is gonna make this video a bit longer, but oh well. I just heard somebody squeak way up into the left on the other side of the scree slope. Nash must be taking a bunch of pictures or something because he hasn't come around the corner yet. Alright, so because Nash's knees are giving him 
problem. His sciatica is giving him problems. He's not going to come out and see this, but I am. Somewhere near the very top of what I guess is called Crater Creek Falls. And yeah, it's middle of October, the lowest water time of the year. So there's not a ton of water going over, but you can see it'd be a very pretty waterfall. I'd say this thing's good. I'm standing on it. Oh, he's coming over. Well, it's a good 100 feet tall, I'd say at least. I mean, yeah, there's not a lot of water on it, but it's pretty scenic. I just came straight through and hopped over. But I mean, yeah, it's scenic. It's worth the pit stop, I'd say. It's pretty. There he is. Even without a lot of water, it's very pretty. I'm sure with a little bushwhacking, we could get to the base of it and be able to look up at it. But yeah, this is very pretty, eh? Good little sideshow. I bet that rock ledge right there, it's like a 40 foot slide. That looks like it'd be fun to check out. But yeah, imagine this thing. I mean, obviously in full snow melt, it's as wide as the bare rocks. What thing? This thing probably roars coming down off the mountain. Huh? Oh yeah, this thing is a monster. Come July. But yeah, it's pretty. So we might take a couple of YouTube shorts of a couple of the slides and stuff. And. uh yeah, we'd have to get way down there to set up for a proper long exposure, and I think the foreshortening would be too much anyway, so it's not a very picturesque waterfall to take pictures of, but I mean, if you're on the trail, it was literally a two-minute bushwhack. Once you get to the top of the bare rock where the trail side a little, a little switch backs up a ways and you come to the big bare rock overhang, just walk across the top of it for, I don't know, 200 feet maybe and you'll come into it you'll hear it the whole way and you can just easy track it but yeah I think I'm gonna shut up and uh, take some pictures and some videos on my phone now she's a little ahead of me because I just took a YouTube short crossing Crater Creek but we are back on the Eagle Lakes trail heading back to the trailhead so we got probably a mile just about a mile or so to get back to the clink get back to the clink to get back to clink and call her a day so let's see here I guess I will do the outro thank you for joining us on this cool outdoors adventure where we take the Crater Creek Trail I think number 416 to Crater Lakes um, I enjoyed it I know Nash enjoyed it we had I had pretty high expectations for this from the trail description and some of the photos I could find of it and yeah even with the less than perfect weather it was pretty damn good um let's do ratings accessibility I'm gonna give it two stars why is that well it's four plus hours from Seattle the trailhead is at almost 5,000 feet of elevation and the last hour of driving, almost the last hour of driving, is either on a very rural single lane road or after that an even more rural single lane dirt road that switch backs out of the Metal River Valley multiple thousands of feet up the mountainside to the trailhead. So it's probably got a fairly small accessibility window and if the weather turns you could be stuck up here pretty easily and of course it's a long freaking ways from Seattle difficulty uh, I think I'm going to give this a solid four stars because even though it was only eight miles and 2100 feet you really felt it because you're up at elevation the whole time and it's really more like six miles and 2100 feet because this first mile from the trailhead to the Crater Creek Junction on the Eagle Lakes Trail doesn't really gain or drop 
a whole lot of elevation it's pretty flat so you're really gaining those 2100 feet in three miles so it's 700 feet per mile instead of 500 feet per mile so it's a bit steeper and the elevation will get you but i i enjoyed it so we'll move on to enjoyment realistically i should probably give this a four stars because for much of the way you're in pretty deep featureless forest if you're not coming out here for fall colors but as you can see if you come out here in time for fall colors everything is freaking popping from the oak to the vine maple to the thimbleberries to the huckleberries and of course the star of the show the larches which i think we were out here a couple of days to a week past prime they were starting to get dark orange and brown out and die and really fall off and same with all these other fall colors a lot of the shrubbery that does turn color and lose its leaves had either already lost its leaves completely or the colors weren't possibly weren't at their full peak but there's still as you can tell plenty of fall colors plus the hike is a fun hike the trails are well maintained you get up in elevation viewing the sawtooth ridge is pretty damn cool of course the larches were amazing the lakes were two pretty little gems and as bonus points, which helps skew me to saying it's five stars instead of four stars, I was able to catch half a dozen fish and about 20 casts, and I got to see a pika. So, yeah, I'm going to bump it to five stars for my personal experience, but I'd say overall it's probably a four stars if you don't come out here for fall colors. Um, other than that, I will say we are planning on going off-roading tomorrow if the weather holds and if we're feeling up to it which would be the first off-roading video of the channel and the first time Rex and I have gone off-roading since college days which will be exciting because that is something I enjoy doing and ooh, it's raining on us now so other than that so hopefully we will see you tomorrow if not we will catch you next time the summer hiking and exploring season, the summer season is very, very quickly drawing to a close. And it's going to be the cruddy two months of November of, and December, which it's hard to go hiking because it's cold and wet and rainy and snowy. But there's not enough snow on the ground to warrant getting the skis and the snowshoes out. So content may get thin here for a little bit. So on that note... Thank you for joining us. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. And as always, leave a comment whether you liked it or not so I know what I can improve for next time. And we shall see you next time. Have a good one. Stay safe outside. Practice the 10, or make sure you have your 10 essentials. Practice leave no trace. Don't pet the fluffy cows, so on and so on. Talk to you later. And ciao.